201340. These are all local holds for this branch. Again? Wow. Again. Okay. None of them to return to the sort center. I wanted to continue the conversation on item number 15 regarding the hold slips automatically printing out upon the receipt of a tote check-in. Here we can see New York Public Library, the ability to print holds receipt at the point in time when you're checking in a tote barcode. We have that capability, but what we found when we went out to record all of these videos is that no one was utilizing this function to print out the hold slips. I was at Salt Lake City receiving a tote and what we found were multiple duplicates even inside one single tote. And what happens if you want to think about it if you have a big list of receipts, hold slip receipts and you match this item of Jack White CD and you didn't realize that there was a second duplicate on the bottom it's very possible that you could have put the wrong hold slip tag on the wrong Jack White album. What's even more interesting is that even in just one single tote there was more than one duplicate. Let me go ahead and show you which tote I have uh, in reference to. This item, the Jack White item number was sent on October 6th in this tote right here and what we can do is we can find this tote and let me look uh, let me show you what's inside this tote on that day on October 6th you'll see that we've got one two duplicates three duplicates even four duplicates in just one single tote multiple items going to different patrons and different item numbers. This is the reason why Salt Lake City does not print out their hold slips in a batch. Our recommendation at Linkso Systems is to either print them at the pull from the lending library or like the Salt Lake City branches at the receipt of the holds uh, to verify the items.